Along the Red Sea shores of the Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah, on the north side of the busy city, you'll find holiday resorts, sparsely built homes and large patches of sand. You'll also find a construction project unlike any other, one that has been put on hold since 2018. This planned tallest structure on earth was abandoned in the hot Arabian desert since then. Once promising and ambitious, this project spiraled into a spectacular failure. Unsurprisingly, the future of this once record-breaking tower remains to be seen. Mega projects like Dubai Islands, which are meant purely to show off a nation's engineering prowess on the world stage, often have unforeseen obstacles along the way. Many nations around the world are looking for opportunities to diversify their economies away from oil extraction. Saudi Arabia just like the United Arab Emirates are no different in this regard. Alongside the Saudi government's attempt to attract international companies, tourism was another huge focus in attracting investment. Dubai has been making waves since the Burj Khalifa was built and for many, it's put Dubai on the map. This made Saudi Arabia desire to have one of these mega structures of their own. The Burj Khalifa had been well underway in Dubai. So the Saudi-backed kingdom's company started developing their own idea of what it would be like to build a skyscraper tower of their own, on land they selected in the city of Jeddah. The plot is over 5 square kilometers or 1,300 acres all to build what they called the Kingdom Tower. The Jeddah Economic City Master Plan would cover everything from a luxury shopping district with its own thematic town, to commercial areas where companies could conduct their business. There would also be green spaces and water features to provide the best opportunities for people to live, work and play in a prosperous community. The main attraction out of this plan would be the Kingdom Tower. The Kingdom Tower would be the tallest building in the world and would be a symbol of the country's pride. Rather than disclosing specifics, company officials have said that it's estimated to go up 168 floors and reach 3,300 feet or 1,053 meters in height. Let's compare, the Statue of Liberty is 305 feet tall or 93 meters, while the Freedom Tower in New York City stands 1,776 feet tall or 541 meters. The current world record holder, the Burj Khalifa, reaches 2,716.5 feet or 828 meters into the sky. The Kingdom Tower, with its sleek design and Four Seasons Hotel, would not only shatter the world record but also leave ample room for a commercial office space. On the 157th floor, the developers originally proposed to include a helicopter pad in the tower. The only break in the tower's sleek design and tapering structure. This was later scrapped, due to safety concerns at that height, but the cantilevered edge remained on the drawing board. Now instead called the Sky Terrace, it would have been the tallest observation deck in the world. Kingdom Holdings hired famed architect Adrian Smith, who designed the Burj Khalifa, for the Kingdom Tower project as far back as 2008. The developers assessed the soil conditions and expected the cost to be over $20 billion when it's all said and done, adjusted for inflation, you'll end up with an additional $7 billion of cost. Keep in mind that the project was supposed to come in phases and the first was set to open in 2016. This was also being planned during the economic crisis which right from the start was slowing everything down. For many years, Kingdom Holdings fought and eventually achieved success in overcoming the economic recession. They were able to find strong partners who can help them with the mega project. The Kingdom Company anticipated breaking ground in 2011, it wouldn't actually be until April 2013 when the foundation work actually began on the Kingdom Tower. A new completion date was set for 2018 after the building began to spring up from the ground in September 2014. By 2015, progress continued to be made floor by floor with the tower taking shape gradually. By this time, the Kingdom Tower had its name changed to Jeddah Tower to honor the city it was being built in. By November of 2015, the financing had been secured to finish the tower and everything was moving forward as planned. That was until 2017, when the problems began. Saudi Arabia embarked on a pretty large government anti-corruption purge, which ended up with almost 400 people being apprehended, one of those people was Prince Al-Walid. Prince Al-Walid was the CEO of the Kingdom Holding Company, 
This whole thing was a play by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman narrowing in on his own power. After arresting Prince Al-Walid and confining him in a Ritz-Carlton hotel, authorities later allowed him to post his expensive bail. The project slowed down after this arrest, but there were also key financial backers who were caught up in the purge. When Prince Al-Walid was arrested he had new executives watching over the construction. According to the other CEO, he expected this tower to open sometime around 2020. Construction on the tower had been going steadily until late 2017, when it surpassed 60 floors and had a height of 814 feet, or 248 meters. It then just stopped, with slow progress in early 2018. The building then got halted by one of its stakeholders. This very promising tower was left unfinished and abandoned by 2020. Reports about the project were hard to come by, when there was no official comment on whether the project would continue. Of course in 2020, it also became clear that the global shutdown was underway, due to the pandemic. The structure has been sitting there abandoned for a while and due to lack of work on it, significant repair work will be needed to get it back into shape. The longer it sits there without being repaired, the more difficult and expensive the repairs will be. I would not be surprised if they just tore it down at this point. The whole reason for this structure being built is to take the world record. This might not even be true by the time it opens. Although several other countries are spending billions of dollars to try and get the record, many of them getting awfully close to the still unknown height of the Jeddah Tower. Saudi Arabia as a whole seems to have also just forgotten about this tower. Overall, it's hard to tell what will happen with this abandoned building. What do you think will happen to this building? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.